Greetings. So, guess what? This is my last grouting of 2023. I do this pretty much bi-monthly, so it's a pretty big deal because this is not my favorite task in my business operations, but I'm gonna show you briefly what it looks like. So as you can see, I am going to grab 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mosaics. It'll take me two or three hours. I've got my disposable nitrate gloves, um, and all my mosaics are completely glued down and have plenty of time to dry. So I have mixed up a bowl of sanded black grout, or charcoal is the technical name of it. This is the custom building product line from Home Depot. Um, and I add a little bit of weld bond glue to my grout, which gives it a, an adhesive quality that grout really doesn't have in it that allows it to stay uh, together on these open ends, edges. So basically I just have mixed this up with weld bond and water. So it's like mashed potato consistency. I just grab a bit of it and I begin what is an extremely messy process. It really taps into my <clears throat> inner child that's allowed to make a massive mess. And as I'm doing this, I'm careful to get it in these back edges as well, behind. Do all four sides in the open edges. Then I set it down. And I do the top. And I'm gonna try to go in circular motions. Getting it into all the crevices. Because a lot of my mosaics have varying heights, well, all of them, I would say, have varying heights to the tesserae, which is just a fancy word for whatever you're making your mosaic out of. It's important to go around in circular motions to make sure you're not missing an angle. Now with a piece this size, I'm comfortable putting the grout completely all over it. And if you're wondering about my gloves, well, thanks a lot, Home Depot, because one size doesn't fit most, or I guess I'm part of that percentile. They used to sell gloves that were small, medium, and large, but you know, they gotta screw the little guy over wherever they can, so they decided to sell one size and call it fits most. Um, but I found, I found the same high-end disposable gloves still in specific sizes online. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. So now what I'm doing is trying to remove as much excess grout with my fingertips as I can to, uh, alleviate having to wipe it off. Okay, so now... These are grout sponges. I take, they, they come, they're very large and I slice them up because my hand is not that big and I wanna be able to squeeze it in the water. But before I get it wet, I'm just, it's okay to do this dry at first. I'm just wiping to try to start removing. I'll just keep rotating the sponge, removing the excess grout. And then I have the, oh, you're barking out of water water. Now, believe it or not, I'm going to use the same bucket the entire time, even though it's going to turn black very quickly. All the grout sediment does seep to the bottom. This just becomes process. Kind of like an archaeological dig, I would imagine, where you take your time, try not to gouge, and watch it slowly reveal itself. Most people forget to wipe the back off really well. When I say most people, I am referring to my students, but that's 
to be expected when you're learning. But the thing is, if you don't wipe the chunk stuff off the back and it dries, it becomes very difficult to get it off, especially with the added weld bond to my wet grout. And then, you know, you want to paint the back and everything's all said and done. And that dry grout can be a problem. You can see my gloves are too big, which is really annoying. These sponges are nice because they hold their form and so they have a little bit of an edge but it's a soft edge so you don't have to worry about gouging because if you gouge like with a q-tip or something you'll see it later. Now at some point your, your wiping just becomes futile and if you wipe for too long, just continuously wiping, then what will happen is the adhesive, in this, this case weld bond, that is gluing the tessery to the wood can reconstitute and become loose. So you want to try to hurry up and get the majority of it off. Sometimes you'll find little spots that need a little extra TLC. You just go back and mold it around. And when you feel like you've wiped the majority of it off, you set it aside and pick a new one because there will be a slight haze to it until tomorrow when I can actually scrub it under the sink. And then you just move on to number two.